Hi, I'm Jessica Stegner, travel consultant and author of From Paper to Plane, a step-by-step guide to efficiently plan your vacations abroad. Have you ever gotten bed bugs while traveling or worried about getting bed bugs while you're traveling? I'm going to give you the information about what to do to avoid getting bed bugs, how to spot them, what they look like, and what to do if you do come across bed bugs while you're traveling. This information and much more you can find in my book on Amazon. This is in the documentation health and safety chapter. So first of all, you should know that bed bugs can happen anywhere and to anyone. Doesn't matter if you're staying in a fancy hotel, you're not immune. So follow these guidelines to make sure that you don't get bed bugs in the first place. One, never under any circumstance, place your suitcase, your purse, your clothes, anything on the bed in the hotel or apartment or wherever you're staying. Because the last thing that you want to happen is for any bugs that might be on the bed to make their way onto your belongings to follow you to wherever you're going next and home. What a miserable experience. Don't let that happen. Never place your items on the bed. Always place them on a luggage stand or dresser or something away from the bed. Not even the nightstand. Place them away from the bed. Second guideline, check for bed bugs. As soon as you arrive and you check into your room, check for bed bugs by lifting up the mattress, specifically the two corners up by the top of where your head would be. Look in all of the crevices because those bugs really like to hide in the creases and the dark and underneath the mattress. And also any plank or anything that it sits on, you could find bugs there. So here's what you're looking for. You're looking for blood spots. Any little red spots indicate that people have already been bitten in the past by bugs. You're looking for little black bugs. Those are the adults. You're also looking for little things that look like rice. They're white and they look like rice. These are the eggs. So you're looking for those three things um, all over the mattress and the platform kind of around, okay? It should only take you a couple of minutes and do this before you get all comfortable. If you do see bed bugs while you're doing your inspection, go back down to the lobby or talk to the owner or wherever you're staying and immediately request, let them know, request a new room, tell them they need to get it treated, maybe get a refund, whatever you need to do. You don't want to stay there because you don't want to deal with bed bugs. You don't. I'll tell you about my experience later. So do that first. Now, if you're staying somewhere and you do come across bed bugs, you might not have noticed them until you gotten some bites. So what to look for with your bites are three bites in a row. They tend to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you wake up one day and you're like, oh, I have bug bites on my arm or wherever, and you look and there are three of them close to each other, it might indicate that you have come across bed bugs. So go back to your room and check everything. If you do come across bed bugs, you want to make sure that none of that follows you to the next hotel or home. You also want to make sure that you get out of the situation and let the owner or the um, concierge or whoever know about it. So let them know right away, demand a new room, a refund, whatever you need to do. And then treat your things and inspect your things carefully to make sure that no bugs follow you. The way that you treat your things is anything that is fabric that you can put in a dryer, you're going to put in a dryer on the highest heat possible for a minimum of 30 minutes. It's the only way to kill bugs really quickly is by a heat treatment. So do that with all of your clothes and anything else that you could put in the dryer that's, that's fabric. Okay, so that's the most important one. Also, while that's going, you wanna be checking and inspecting everything else carefully. Check your shoes, check all the little corners of your bag, check around the zippers, check your toiletries, check everything for those signs of bugs. If you have anything like souvenirs or something that you don't need to access again until you get home, you could, after you inspect them, put them in some sort of sealable plastic bag, like a Ziploc bag or something, and close them up just in case there's bugs hiding inside of there somewhere. You never know. You can just put those in a bag and put them in your bag. 
That's a safety thing. Now, you're still not in the clear because once you get home from your trip, you also need to take a lot of precautions. As soon as you get home from your trip, once again, never place your bag on your bed. Don't do it. Also, inspect everything carefully, wash and dry everything, high heat carefully, even though you've already done it. Even if it's been a couple of weeks since you came into contact with them, just go through that whole process again. And then lastly, you want to make sure that it doesn't transfer to your own personal mattress. So maybe there was something, maybe there was a bug that was hiding in your shoe and it got on the carpet and, you know, it took a couple of weeks and it made it onto your bed and got in the mattress and reproduced and all of a sudden you have bed bugs. To prevent that from happening or to notice if that happens, you need to be inspecting your mattress if you came into contact with bed bugs. Once you get home, you still need to inspect your mattress for about 30 days after your trip. So go through the same thing of lifting up the mattress and looking in the crevices for about a minute or two. It doesn't take very long to do. Um, keep your eye on for any bites that you might be getting, any new bites for every day for about a month, just in case. I know bed bugs are not fun. Uh, my husband and I came across bed bugs on a trip and it was not a fun experience. We didn't get any bites, but we were staying at this really beautiful apartment that we never would have inspect- expected. It was immaculately clean. It was absolutely amazing. And it wasn't until the third morning that my husband woke up and saw a bug crawling across his pillow. Rightfully so, he freaked out, got up, checked everything. We lifted up the mattress and lo and behold, we found about eight adult bugs um, on the plank in different areas. So we contacted the owner. We were renting an apartment. So we contacted her and she refunded us one or two nights worth of the cost. We checked out one day early to go stay somewhere else. We had a washer and dryer there. So we heat treated everything and inspected everything there before we went to the new hotel. And we were very paranoid for the rest of our trip. And once we got home and luckily none of the bugs followed us, we've, we've never placed our bags on the bed. So we didn't have that issue to deal with, but we were still really precautious just in case. Yeah. So it's happened to me. It can happen to you and it can happen anywhere. So just take those precautions and know what you're looking for to prevent getting bed bugs and to know what to do if you do come across them. Okay. Um, have you ever experienced bed bugs while you're traveling? Um, have you, how did you deal with the situation? I would love to hear your stories down below, kind of like the story that I told about dealing with bed bugs during our trip. And also I would like to remind you that my book from paper to plane is available on Amazon, both Kindle and paperback. And you can find more information about me and tons of other great resources on my website, wegetoutoftown.com. I have a blog, tons of free downloadable type things. That's also where you can contact me for any uh, travel consulting needs. So once again, comment below about your experience with bed bugs, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. <music>